I don't trust nobody I don't even trust my mind I'm losing everybody They can never take Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of Windfoil Web Clinic and today we are addressing one of the most requested uh, videos and this is going upwind going upwind on Windfoil specifically Just to clarify I'm going to address how to go upwind better so it means how to trim your gear to be able to go upwind better how to adjust your stance to be able to go upwind better and general things to do and not to do when going upwind so after taking in the tips from this video, hopefully you're going to be able to go upwind at a higher angle with more comfort and with more speed and in any wind conditions. So without further ado, let's dive into some video examples and let me talk to you through them. So let's say you're foiling along on a half wind course, you're powered up, but not too much, just enough to stay on the foil to push for some speed and you decide, you know, I see there is this really nice beach over there, there are some girls sitting there, I want to go there and visit them. How do I do that in the fastest way, you ask me? Well, let me tell you. First thing, we have to differentiate between a racing foil and a free ride foil. Because here, there are gonna be some slight differences. The main difference is... For the racing foil to go upwind fastest, you'll want to put it on the side like that. So it means that the board goes from being horizontal to switching slightly at an angle and that allows you to press upwind at a higher angle and higher speed. However, if you are on a free ride foil, most free ride foils, at least the ones that I've tried and my friends tried, they don't really like being put on the edge too much and you can do it very slightly or best it's even to keep them horizontal. So that is the main difference to keep in mind. If you are on a free ride foil, you always keep the board, let's say flat. And if you are on the racing foil, then it's okay and it's even good to put it on the rail. So you see those girls on the beach upwind, you wanna go there, what do I do with this? So you make sure that you put your feet closer to the rail the upwind rail of the board and you start softly applying the pressure through your heels into the rail. That means that you're shifting the weight from being centered over the sole of your foot to slightly towards the heels. And as you know already, you're already an experienced foiler, you have to do everything on the foil very very slowly and very very carefully. Um, if you do a sudden movement and you suddenly shift the weight to the heels, the board will shoot upwind and most likely jump out of the water and you'll crash. So this shift is very soft. So you start shifting the weight towards your heels and at the same time with the body, you're leaning slightly forward. So most likely what's going to happen when you shift the weight to your heels, you're going to power up the foil through the side pressure, through pushing the side of the board more. And when that happens, usually the foil tries to lift, lift up out of the water more. So what you want to do to counteract that is to shift your weight forward. So you're going from sailing like this to moving forward slightly if you're sailing that way. And uh, that will ensure that you don't jump out of the water. And what this does also is a second important thing which means it helps you steer with the sail as you're bringing the body forward so that you're not falling onto the nose of the board naturally the sail will move backward a little bit so you're hooked in and harness and as you move the body forward not to fall out the natural thing to do will be to move the slate sail slightly backward that is the second thing that's going to help you go upwind. Sometimes you'll feel that as you start going upwind you lose power and the board starts slowing down and you touch down. Um, what it means is you don't have enough power in the gear to go at that angle that you've chose. So there are two options. One option is while going on the half wind course gather more speed, try to go as fast as you can on a half wind as you're comfortable and then slowly start changing the angle into the upwind 
as you have more speed the foil will have generated more power and then you can use that power to go upward. The second thing is to adjust the equipment so that you have more power from the foil. A uh, few options to do that. One is moving the boom up. Two is moving the mass foot slightly backwards. Both of these things will allow you to press on the foil more and generate more power and therefore it will be easier to go upwind. In general, to go upwind you need a lot more power than just to go on the halfwind reaching courses. So it means that if you think that you're going for a session where you'll be going upwind and downwind, you should take maybe even a size bigger sail than you would take while just going on a normal reaching course. The third thing with equipment tuning that is going to help you go upwind better is the adjusting the angle of the back wing of your foil. If that is possible on your foil, it's not possible on all foils, the more angle you put, and the more angle I mean, if we have a fuselage like that in the front wing right here, more angle is like this and less angle is more neutral, more tilted down. Obviously the board is up here. So the more angle you have on the back wing, as the foil moves through the water like this, it will create more power and lift the board up more. So first of all, you'll get onto the foil easier, but also you'll have more power, the foil will be lifting more, and therefore you'll have more power to use to go upwind. Number four, with regards to equipment tuning, that is going to help you go upwind, and it's the length of harness lines. Basically, I like going as short as possible on the harness lines when going upwind. So, if for slalom I'm using 28 to 34 inches, for foil going upwind I would use 22 to 28 range depending on the wind for going upwind. And in light wind I really shorten the harness lines up to 22 inches and remember I'm 6 foot 6, 2 meters tall. So I'm quite a tall guy and usually I would use uh, long harness lines, but for going upwind and putting a lot of power onto the gear, having short harness lines will help you to power up the gear and go upwind better. Now, last but not least, let's look into the body position to go upwind better. Um, so what we want to do is if we are not overpowered, we want to stay as straight as possible. So the Super 7 position that you should be f familiar from free riding is very um, appropriate here as well. So it means both your feet are straight, your legs and your uh, uh, glute muscles are tightened, your core is tight and extended, and both arms are straight and extended as well. So let's go through the short list of things to do if you want to go better upwind. On the beach, put the boom higher, put the mass foot back, create more uh, angle on your back wing, shorten your harness lines as much as possible. Once you are on the water, generate speed on the half wind course, start putting pressure on your heels into the rail to drive the board upwind, lean your body forward to make sure that the board doesn't jump out of the water uh, in the same motion as you're leaning forward with the body towards the nose of the board you lean the sail backwards and that closes the sail and steers the board even more upwind and keep the body straight as possible and push through the legs to generate power. That's about it. I hope that uh, these tips were helpful for you guys and now you're able to go upwind in a more efficient manner and you can explore your local lake, your local coastline while going upwind and downwind. And that is the fun of foiling. You can travel a long distance really easily and really see uh, your surroundings from a different perspective. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please click the like button, the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And, most importantly, let me know what other topic I should tackle next about wind foiling. Thank you and adios.